listened to Bird, who was very, or Django, who were very, what I call, ornamental players, you'll hear the song is always like, it's like a Christmas tree. It's the basis of what they're doing, and all that cool stuff they're playing are like ornaments. But basically, deep down, there's a simpler, more strong, cohesive approach, which is coming from the song. And I think a lot of us get so into the two five licks and, and the, the little details of the ornaments that we forget to really center on the foundation of what we're trying to achieve. Well, this song is really great because it leaves you big spaces to answer it. You know, I've got... I got two bars here to just do whatever. I can move it around. Some people call them outside, and in some cases they are outside if you use them as tension, but in some cases they're just passing notes that sound great. In, like for instance, this F sharp against B flat. That's obviously a tension note the way I'm playing it now, but if I play it, you just loved the sound of that. It just took us right back to B flat. F sharp was like the best note in that grouping. it up to minor thirds. That was up another minor third that was there. Everything is sort of relating to itself and giving us this motific way of playing to the tune. And the beautiful thing is, is like you're just sort of not even thinking about the changes yet you're hearing them. So you're this work just pushes that knowledge of the song to a deeper structural cellular level. Like you're not even have to think about it anymore. It's just you just know this. What is the right thing to play after I play? Right now I know you're hearing the next phrase that you would play there. That's what I'm talking about. You can't possibly be repeating yourself all night if you're playing the song. Stop repeating yourself, start playing music.